Today we're gonna unbox the Creator Micro Keyboard. It's a collaboration between Work Louder and Figma. So we have the logo of the company here, Work Louder, and the logo of Figma right there. So it's an awesome keyboard. I've been waiting quite a while for it. And in this video, we're gonna unbox it, we're gonna set it up, and I'm gonna give you uh, a few of my thoughts on using it in your workflow. Let's get right into it. Okay, so let's just get to unboxing it. So um, it's a really, really amazing box. You can see there are a couple nice details here. Let me just hold it up to the camera. You see it says little big shorts there. And then it says, um, it says uh, work louder and Figma right there. Um, it actually, as a keyboard, it looks exactly identical to the Creator Micro, but with a couple details that are specific to Figma. So you could see, you know, we have the colored keycaps there, um, and then also the Figma logo right there. Let me put it the right way up. Yeah, the Figma logo is right there, and then the little smiley face. So, um, yeah, and then the box has some nice art around the side. So we have the Figma logo, we have a couple more uh, nice art, uh, we have the Work Louder logo, and then some smiley faces. Okay, so without further ado, let's tear into this thing and open it up. Oh, before before I got, get into that, I wanted to show, it also came with um, replacement keycaps. So we have a bunch of like icons there for shortcuts, um, and then also more of these uh, colors that you can use on the keyboard. Okay, so let's set that aside, and I'm gonna go ahead and open this. So, let's see. So I actually have uh, one of these already. So I've already unboxed it. Um, I ordered two <laughs> because I'm extra. Um, I figured like if I had one at home, I was gonna miss it while I was in the office. And if I had one in the office, I was gonna miss it when, I, when I'm at home. So <laughs> I decided to get two. So this is actually the second one that I'm unboxing. Um, and I decided to save it and share it with you guys. Okay, all right, let's see. Look at that. Wow. So um, there are a couple of um, uh, switch options that you get with this. So I got the clicky one. Um, there is the silent one as well, but you know, I like my clicky uh, keyboards, especially if it's a me mechanical keyboard, I want it to be clicky. So let's do a sound test. I don't know if the audio is gonna pick up in the microphone, but. Sounds amazing. Okay, so a little bit about the keyboard. Um, you have uh, your regular uh, keyboards over here, uh, your, your regular keys that you can use, and you can bind any one of these to a shortcut in Figma. Um, you also have two touchpads. So if I remove this scan me tag over here, set that aside. You actually have two touchpads here that you can program. Um, I think by default, uh, this one is programmed to turn the light, uh, there's RGB light all around, so you can turn it on and off using this. And then this is to switch the layers. So you actually have four layers in this keyboard. Um, you have the default layer and then uh, the, the lights, the LED lights, I don't know if you can see. The LED lights over there correspond to layer two, three, and four. And then you have, a rotation knob over here. Uh, so I think by default, this is bound to undo, redo. So you could just like, it's almost like you're going back in time, like, and then your layers uh, go back in time in Figma. And then uh, this over here is a vertical scrolling wheel. So you can use this for zooming in and zooming out. And then both these buttons also click down to serve as uh, buttons as well. So you can click down on them, you can click down on this, and it serves as uh, as buttons. Okay, so let's pull this out. So in the package, it actually doesn't come with anything else other than the keyboard. Um, so we have, oh, it's coming off. 
So we have a rubber ring underneath with the Figma logo. I don't know if y'all can see it. Yeah, so that's the Figma logo underneath. And then this rubber ring around the bottom helps with, helps the keyboard stay in, stay in place when it's on your desk. So there we go, that's the keyboard. So um, I think that's pretty much it. Now what I'm gonna do is plug this in. Um, I'm gonna see you uh, in Figma and I'm gonna show you how to set this up and how I have it set up uh, for my use, okay? I'll catch you in a bit. All right, so I have the Creator Micro Pro already set up. Check this out. Look, just uh, look, look at look at how beautiful that thing is. Like it, <laughs> it's amazing. So, like I said earlier, um, we have you know the uh, the layers over here. So if I tap on this, you could see the LED is changing, um, and those correspond to the different layers of the keyboard. We have the knob over here, so I can I can turn that. You can actually hear my computer reacting to it. Um, and then we have the vertical scroll here that I'm using for zooming in and out on the canvas in Figma. Oh, I'm so bad at I'm so bad at framing this. Hold on. <laughs> so there we go. Yeah, look at that. Just it is such a well built uh, keyboard. It looks amazing. Um, and yeah, it's just such a really, like even beyond just being very good in terms of utility and usefulness, it is also just such a brilliant desk piece. Like it looks amazing on the desk. Okay, so I'm just gonna go through um, what it looks like to set it up. So here I am on the um, Work Louder website. This is where you can uh, pre-order this thing. I pre-ordered last year. Uh, that's why it took uh, quite some time to get it. I think they're hand making each of these and then sending them out, which is why I think it takes some time. Um, again, love supporting small businesses. Uh, so yeah, that's another reason why I was very excited to cop one of these for myself. So as you can see, I already showed we have the knob, so you can turn that in order to, uh, I think, I think I have it set up to undo redo. So yeah, you could turn it, but of course you can change it to be whatever you want. Um, yeah, different layers. So you can have different uh, key keyboard shortcuts set up uh, on the different layers. Um, and then yeah, the vertical scroll again could be set up to be whatever you want. Um, so I actually scanned this tag right here. I don't know if you can see it. So you scan this, I'll leave the link in the description below, but it takes you to this page, which is, which is a setup page. So basically what they're telling you to do is use this software called Via, um, and then you could map your shortcuts. Um, there's also this awesome video walkthrough, like a quick start guide. I actually got to meet him when I was in California and, uh, I was able to sign his box. Um, I'll throw the I'll throw the photo up on screen right now. But I, I kind of honestly low-key wish I had mine so that he could sign it as well. But you know what? It's all good. I'm happy. Um, got the keyboard. It's really nice. Um, and yeah. So one thing that uh, Work Louder has done that I find super cool is if you wanted to just quickly get into it, get started, they do have a presets, uh, a page where you could download presets. So you can see here, whatever you need, you can go ahead and download the preset itself. So you can see everything that they have uh, set up on the keyboard and you could download that, download the preset and then load that into your Creator Micro keyboard. Um, maybe it could even be like a starting off point so you could download it um, and then tweak it to your needs. Um, another thing I wanted to share is that I found this community file on Figma community. And so you can use this uh, in order to plan out your loadout and then uh, use that in order to, um, yeah, set up the creator micro for whatever purpose you need. So yeah, that's also super useful. You could go ahead and use that. So if I go back and so the way it works is you have these uh, layers here. 
So you could, you know, go in um, and then you could change it to be whatever you want and you could just set up your layout how you want it. And then once you have that set up, you're going to want to go ahead and load up via. So let me actually zoom out a little bit and let me move myself over here. And yeah, so it's very, very simple to set up. It's really, really easy. Let me go ahead on layer two so I can show what it looks like. So you, all you have to do is select a key and then when you go here, you can select the key that you want to correspond with that. Let me put this here. And uh, yeah, you just go through the entire keyboard. Um, let's set this up as, I don't know, C for comment. Uh, maybe this one, um, maybe this one, I'm going to set it up to H, okay, for hand. So if I go back to Figma, you could see this is already set up. So if I press this one, you could see that it's the hand tool. Oh, I need to go to layer two for that. Oops. Okay, there we go. So this one, C for comment. Um, this one for the hand tool. Let me actually just do that in so that y'all can see. So if I press uh, this one, that's already the hand tool. And if I press this one, you could see it's switching to the pointer tool. And then if I press this one, that's comment, okay? So those are the keys that I have set up right now. And you could see with one tap of the button, I can switch between all of them. Um, and yeah, it works pretty well. But where this keyboard gets even more powerful is actually the macros. So if you go up here, you could see I have M0 all the way to M15. These are your macros. Um, ma macros are essentially a combination of keystrokes that you can program into one keystroke. So I'm gonna set up one for y'all so you can see how it works. Um, and I think I've already set up this one M15. Um, I did that as uh, the create auto layout with just one button. So let me just clear that and show how I set that up. So normally um, you would be able to um, press record, but you have to do that when you're full screen. And honestly, I wouldn't recommend going this route um, because yeah, it, it seems to be a little bit buggy. It doesn't really record the keystrokes very well. So um, I'm not gonna show that, but you can try um, and see if it works for you. Didn't really work that well for me, so I'm going to do them manually. So you do that by clicking this tab over here. And essentially you want to type out the um, keystrokes that work for you. So you could go here um, in this page you, you get to that by clicking this basic key codes and you can see there are a ton of uh, keystrokes like basically codes corresponding to different keystrokes that you could copy and paste so you could see you could just do a, a shift F um, and then you know you could find what you need however they do have a really good search tool inside so what you could do is open curly bracket and then after that you do you type out what you need so i'm gonna do shift left and then space and then question mark and then now you could search again but i just need a so there we go and then curly brackets to close once you save that you switch back you see um, a visual representation of the keystrokes that you just entered in and then once that is saved i have uh, m15 saved as shift a and so if I go back to the key map, go to macros, and then let's let's do let's do this one. So I'm gonna select this and then select M15. Boom, I have M15 set up for that key. And so that that's um, this blue one over here. So that's set up as M15 right now, which we programmed um, as shift A, which is create auto layout so if i go back to figma um and then let's create two uh shapes you could see these two shapes they're not in an auto layout layout however if i select both of them 
then I'll just show you over here. So I'm going to tap on this key. Boom, you could see there is an auto layout set up for those two shapes right now with one tap of a button. Now, this is where I think the Creator Micro shows its value and productivity is because if you have a lot of these shortcuts um, while you're working in uh, Figma, you don't have to do finger gymnastics in order to get them to work. Um, you can just load them uh, into the Creator Micro and access them with one finger, like just bam, and then auto layout. So what I did was I looked through um, all of the shortcuts. So you can access this by pressing the question mark and then going to keyboard shortcuts and then just going through and seeing like what shortcuts do I find myself using a lot of. Um, I actually find myself using paste to replace quite a lot. I use uh, copy and paste properties quite a lot. And as you can see, these have like multiple keys that you have to hit in order to make these to work. And so what I did was I went through all of that, um, thought about like, okay, what um, shortcuts do I want to use the most? And as you can see, I laid them out here. So copy style, paste style, you know, convert to frame, convert to auto layout, paste to replace, frame and unframe group. So, sorry, uh, unframe or like remove frames or remove groups. So I, I do that quite a bit as well. Um, and then, you know, just laid out what I think I'm going to find the most useful. And so that's what I did. And I actually have already saved my layout for the keyboard. So if I save and load and I load this one, you can see here, I have my own setup already. So once I load that, you see, I have all of my uh, macros already loaded into the keyboard. And so that's how I have it set up. Now, um, I'm sure y'all are asking the colors, right? Like all of the colors that we have uh, in the keyboard. So this sort of like rainbow color that I have, that's what this is here, rainbow swirl. So it basically slowly rotates around the entire keyboard. Um, and so that, that this is the option that I have selected. However, if you want a solid color, you can go ahead and do that. And as you can see, I can change what color I want that to be. Um, or they have tons of presets here. So like, you know, breathing. So it's sort of like, you know, breathing in and out, sort of pulsing um, as it's sitting on your desk. So I just I just chose this rainbow swirl because I like it a lot and it, yeah it just it looks so cool it's amazing you can of course set like the brightness as well like how bright you want it and everything uh, the backlight this is uh, behind the keys so it's a bit hard to see but you can see here there's uh, there's a light behind the keyboard so I can change the color of those as well I'm just gonna leave them at blue. I like that. Um, and yeah, I think the indicators. Oh yeah, so that's that's the layer, the layer indicator that you have right there. So you can make that brighter or less bright. So I yeah, I actually want it fully bright. <laughs> so yeah, um, that's about it. Uh, thank you so much for watching. Uh, I hope you enjoyed the video. I really, really would like to hear about uh, those of you that have also purchased one of these and are using it in your workflow I'd love to hear about how you um, how you have yours set up and you know how it's improved your workflow so if you do have one go ahead and leave a comment down below and let me know let us all know how you're using it whether you find it useful whether you recommend getting one um, and yeah, before I sign off, I wanted to uh, remind y'all to like the video if you liked it, especially if you've watched all the way uh, to this point. Go ahead and hit that like button and uh, subscribe if you know you want to see more from me. Uh, I'm gonna be trying my best to release more videos. Uh, thank you so much for watching and I'll catch you on the next one.